The move comes as a search is also underway tonight for those responsible for gunning down a man on the south side of the small town Wednesday night. Our Bill Churchwell spoke with city and county officials late this evening and joins us now with the update. Hey Bill. Hey there. Yeah, the city's new police chief Will Barton telling me tonight that the park closures are out of extreme caution for public safety and is asking residents tonight to report anything suspicious they might see this weekend. It's this social media post where the city of Falfurias is urging residents to remain clear of all parks until further notice, even canceling Little League games that were set to take place this weekend after what officials are calling a credible threat. We do not take any type of threats lightly. We would rather keep the public informed of any you know, imminent danger and not have nothing transpire than to have a tragedy occur without warning. Chief Will Barton telling us by phone tonight he was not able to go into detail about about the nature of the threat because of his department's investigation. However, it comes on the heels of a shooting that claimed a man's life Wednesday night. It was along South Terrell Street in Falfurias where an apparent argument broke out between two groups of people. One resident telling us what she saw next. Three men were walking, they were walking away, flashing their guns. Somebody from this area shot once and they turned around and retaliated and started shooting back. And the man that got hit was trying to get out of out of the way. The police chief is concerned that there could be retaliation in this case. He says his department stands ready, even recruiting extra help from other agencies. No, I have multiple agencies that you know, are helping us out here. He says the safety of the community is paramount. We also spoke by phone to Brooks County Judge Eric Ramos about the precautions underway. That's what our law enforcement is telling me, that they're getting, is telling us that they're getting uh, some very credible information that suggests that there might be some sort of retaliation or some sort of, uh, again, uh, gang on gang activity. Encouraging everyone to speak up. If you see something, say something. We're just asking everyone to be vigilant. Police saying the closure is not intended to create panic, but they are asking people to stay home. If you see anything, call Brooks County Dispatch at 361 325 3696 or 911 for emergencies. Back to you. All right, Bill, thank you so much for that update. Some